right, I've talked about it, I've planned it in my head, many different thousands of different ways that this could possibly happen. Sometimes I think you've just got to crack on and um, let's, uh, let's work out the details as we go. So shall we start building a full-size boat? Let's do it. Now, the first thing I'm gonna to need to do is to create a bit more space. There are a lot of components to build within the boat, as we've seen, and they are substantially bigger than this. They look like 10 times the scale rather than four times the scale when you look at other people's builds, like Bob, who's, uh, who's building his boat over in the States. So, we need a bit of space, and the first thing I'm gonna do is rearrange the upstairs workspace. So, let's take a little look at what's currently going on up here. So in the upstairs workspace, you can see it's a bit of a mess because I've already started uh, doing some clearing. So we've got the little temptress workstation that I've been doing um, the model up here. So you'll have seen this if you watched any of that series before. We've got some wood storage over there. We've got some larger wood storage over here behind where the lights go. And old boat part storage behind that. Now, over the other side behind where you probably don't see quite so often, we've got a lot of junk storage. So this is all kind of bits from old boats that I'm restoring at the moment. I like to keep hold of everything just in case I need it to uh, retain for patterns and parts and things like that. So that stuff is all currently here. And you can see we've got basically an entire Chris Craft up on the top rack here, we've got parts from the Heelys and various different boats that I've restored. So the plan is all of that in the middle there is gonna go and be repurposed elsewhere, sorted out and gotten rid of where we can. And uh, I'm gonna open up all of this workspace here so that what I can do is create my frame construction board set up over there and basically build all of the components for the boat over here before we then move to downstairs for the uh, assembly because there's going to be quite a lot of work to do before we actually get to putting parts together. So first thing to get cracking with is uh, sorting that merry lot out. Here we go, some decent floor space. There's a little temptress model sat over there. The uh, timber rack is going to need a little bit more of a sort out and just uh, re tidy for everything that's going on up there. 
we've got pretty much an entire 1936 Chris Craft up here. You can see that's the, uh, the seats there, deck, and then all the planking is up over the back there. And um, because we're replacing like 90% of the wood on that, oh, and there's all the framing there as well. Because we're replacing pretty much 90% of the wood on that, it's pretty much all there at the moment. So um, I'll be getting back onto that project before Temptress gets assembled downstairs. So um, we'll see that as well at some stage. But um, there we go, good bit of working space. This is gonna be our room for building frames, building all the components of the boat basically up here with plenty of space to do so. So now that we've got some space, let's start putting some stuff back in it. Okay, so part of what is massively going to help me to actually undertake this project and make this really happen is, um, is the help of some of my suppliers and um, sponsorship towards the project. The first of those suppliers on board has been Sykes Timber and I want to say a massive thank you to them for helping me out with the timber to get this project underway. They've given me a really great price on, uh, on my first timber delivery and uh, I'm hoping that they are going to continue to support me throughout the rest of the project. So I want to say a huge thank you to them guys for, for helping me out with that. So if you guys are doing any woodworking projects in the UK, absolutely make sure that you check out Sykes and uh, give them a thank you back for, for helping me out with getting this project underway and making things happen. Okay, so here is the timber that is going to start us off for framing and some of the laminated items within the boat. I'm using Utili here. Now, before in um, boat building, I've used Sapili quite a lot, and um, that's sort of been my general choice of timber. But I visited Sykes the other week and uh, we looked around some different woods that might be good to use. And uh, Utili is very similar to Sapili, but um, as a, as a generalization, it's a much better grade of timber. So you can see we've got some really straight grain boards. They're really flat and um, it's just a nicer grade than Sapili. It's still within the mahogany family, not quite the same as what we would consider the sort of proper mahogany such as um, African or Brazilian or Honduran, but um, a beautiful timber nonetheless. So this is gonna form the framing for, uh, for the new temptress. A little bit heavier than some of the other mahoganies and um, we're gonna induce a little bit of extra weight within the boat because of that, but um, we're gonna make up some savings as well by using different timbers within various other bits and we'll look at that when we get to that stage of the build. So what I've done initially is I've sorted the boards. So we've got the, uh, the narrowest boards here and then both of these piles are the similar kind of widths um, for typical kind of width boards. Then we come over to here and we've got our monster boards here. So we've got some really wide stuff here and that's going to be great for getting some of our frames that have got greater curvature to them. So like some of the large deck beams in frame three, things like that. Oh, it's handy to have a little model here just to reference. So um, some of these big deck beams here quite large timbers that have got a fair amount of curvature to them. We'll need a wider board to uh, get parts such as that out. So we will, um, we will use that. This is gonna give me plenty of options for nesting various parts as and, as and when needed. And then here is, um, is my seconds. So um, boards that are not quite so good, but I say seconds. In actual fact, these are still fantastic quality boards. The only reason I've deemed them as that is that they've got the slightest sniff of non-straight grain in them. Just on, you can see that's literally just on one side here. So although I'm calling them seconds, they're still really top class, but all of these boards here have got really good straight grain in them. So that's gonna be ideal for picking our orientation for the grain of all the framework. But um, these are by no means unusable. These are still fantastic quality. But what I would do, you can see there's a, you know, you've got kind of straight grain on one side of the board, 
and then we've got some slightly um, less less straight, more irregular stuff onto the one side. So what will happen is that these these boards will probably get made into laminations where um, the variation in the grain direction isn't going to be so much of an issue. So that's going to be absolutely fine for that. And as you can see, they're still beautiful timbers. So uh, really good stuff. So there we go. Good stock of timber that's going to get us started for framing. Okay, so that's the plan. I've made a start and I'm, uh, I'm fully committing to, uh, to trying to do a full boat. So let's, uh, let's see how it goes. Um, I'm still going to carry on with the model. I don't want to abandon this because I've put a lot of work in this already. And uh, part of what kind of led me to where I am now was purely the amount of hours that I worked out that I've already committed to the model. So I figured if I can make that happen, hopefully, certainly with the support of some suppliers to get the material cost down, I can invest those hours into a uh, proper boat build as well. So I'm going to carry on with the, uh, with the model in the background. It's definitely been a really helpful forerunner to the full size build. And there's certain things that I'm going to change because of the work that I've done on this. So we'll, uh, we'll carry on with that as well. And I really want to see that continue to a full size model because that's going to look really cool when it's finished. So we'll mix the two in together and we'll create a series that um, blends the two projects all in one because they're all both relevant. So as I mentioned, having some supplies on board is a huge help with uh, with actually making this a viable option. So um, massive thanks to, uh, to Sykes Timber who've helped me out with that. I'm also going to get some support from uh, West System who are going to help me with the epoxy and epiphanes as well with the finishes and I'm hoping to get a couple of other people behind me if possible to uh, to make it all all happen and um, yeah hopefully hopefully we can see it through to completion. I want the series to be a really nice showcase of the uh, of the project but also a tutorial for some of you that might want to do this boat at home and uh, hopefully it'll give you the inspiration to help to get that underway. And hopefully along the way, I can give you plenty of tutorials for various parts and elements of modern wooden boat building and uh, how that might work. So it's going to take quite a bit to get this project underway and un over the line, especially when it comes to actually setting the boat up downstairs, because that's when it's actually going to take the place of the other work that I tend to do on a daily basis. I'm going to continue with that work whilst I'm still working on Temptress up here. And uh, then the hopes are that we can build some good momentum in the series by the time I've got to come downstairs and properly commit to setting things up. So I massively appreciate any kind of support that you guys can give to the project as well. And that can be in a number of ways that can be in just simply watching my videos and sharing things that all helps to make this happen because without the videos, I wouldn't be doing any of this at all, really. Um, I've also got my Patreon, so you guys can go on there and you can get early access to videos and some more behind the scenes stuff as well for a little monthly pledge, which I massively appreciate and that really helps to move things along. Obviously, you can buy yourself a set of boat plans if you want to build one of these at home and there's all kinds of things like merch as well. I'm not wearing my branded t-shirt today, but um, we've got some like Temptress t-shirts and stuff on there if you want to get some of them and that helps a little bit towards the process. So um, there we go. I hate doing this part of the videos, but uh, yeah, appreciate any help you can do, whatever that is, whether it's just watching the videos or pledging a small amount of money to make the project work. So I'm really excited about this. I can't wait to get this proper build underway. I haven't actually built a brand new boat since I started Missile and I think I started that around about 10 years ago. So I've learned a huge amount about boat building since I started that. And all of this kind of CNC stuff that I've been showcasing and implementing with plans, um, I haven't really had a chance to properly implement that into my own build yet. So I'm really looking forward to, uh, to doing that. So there we go. That's a little intro into what we're doing into the project and um, we'll get cracking on the next video. In the next one, we're going to start cutting the frame construction board and we'll be looking at the assembly table for assembling boat frames. There's going to be a load of differences that I'm going to roll out throughout this project that I haven't included in the previous plans. And uh, we'll look at some of those things it's either through refinement or through just some little advancements that I'm able to do with having a CNC machine here. So we'll look at that in the next video. We'll get cracking on building some frames and we'll start to look at some of the additions that I've added to the boat plan. So looking forward to that. We'll get on with it. Cheers guys. Catch you in the next one.